Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Stellaris Utopia. So, let's go ahead and keep our conquest going here. I want to go ahead and go on the Fennel Coalition. It'll be really easy to take down. So I'm going to go... The goal here is to get to the Bothrian Shard down here. Uh, so we're looking at maybe Mothellum. Let's see, Mothellum. Um, Porabim. Seems like a, an important one. They don't have anything on the border, so if we can maybe slow down. What? Cinematis Republic, Amari Union have closed their borders. Well, good to know. And they're jerks, but good to know. Uh, Valonis or Baltris? I think it'd be fair. Let's speed things back up. It's going to go slow anyways. No matter how we play, it's going to go slow. Baltris, Valonis. Unless I could just vassalize them. Can I? Analyzed. Can I straight up just vassalize them? Dude, I can just take them. That's so much easier. They're just going to be mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could do a little humiliation for it. I think slap humiliation on top. Yeah. All right. We have declared war. Let's go ahead. Wow, well, it doesn't even matter to pause. They're already at war with someone else, uh, with the Natrax Crusaders. So I'm not. Whoop, oh my. I'm not terribly concerned about that. But it doesn't mean we can't do other things, like take advantage of the fact that they're at war with the Natrax Crusaders. Radicalization, mineral attraction modifier, militarist ethics attraction. All right, that's fine. I mean, there's not a lot we can do about a lot of that right now, unfortunately, so it it is what it is. Which place was the one? It, it's been a while since I last played. It was you? You're the one that is the military academy, right. Which means we want more. Android Assault, Ooh, hold up, go ahead and pause for a minute. Android Assault or Xenomorph. You know what, let's do Xenomorph. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very cool. Science ship's busy sciencing things up. Debris analyzed. What do you got? Nothing and lots of things, nice. All right. You're on your way. We have like one fleet. Both fleets are already here. Cool. Go over here. And you go over here. You're both aggressive, right? Yep. Then we're just good to wait. Sit, chill, enjoy ourselves. And take a minute to talk to... The Zeracorp. Trade for energy credits, please. Up to 19,000. And I believe we already have all the strategic resources from everyone right now. Uh, and that includes you. Yeah, you already aided us. So. Unpause, please. Cool. What's this? They have a fleet. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Got our buddies over here. All right. Go Camarian Commonwealth. Go kick some butt. Alien spaceport engaged. Why are you? You're not. All right. Well, survey this. Survey this. And actually, since you have all the speed in the world, I want you to come down and just finish surveying these real quick. It's gonna take some time, but I want this stuff. Right on this border, it's been sitting there forever. I want that to get taken care of. Okay. Well, that's... Yep, they're gone. All right. Mothelium will be gone shortly. Valonius. Uh, we might want to split our fleets in half to so go ahead and hit updated. four simultaneously. Situation log updated. I think that might be the smart complete. choice. Where are you tech-wise? Tech level is superior, so we probably want to look at some of the stuff that they offer. Can't build a research station? 
And by the stuff that they offer, I mean like uh, go go look at their debris. You know, we pick up their debris, see if we can find something useful, worthwhile, and actually make something out of it. All right. Go ahead and land, please. They'll be done shortly. What's up? Hey, hey, trade points. All right. Very good. Climate restoration. Allows us terraform ecologically devastated tomb worlds. Yeah. I will absolutely pick that up. Our, well, I guess they'd be our sectors. I'm sure we'll appreciate that. We can terraform if we want, but until we can make Gaia worlds, there's really very little point. Like, yeah, we can terraform this into, like, a desert world. But, eh? You know, again, kind of, who cares? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yep, they're toast. Pacifist attraction. Sweet. And militarist attraction. Enemy planet secured. System okay. complete. So that's all that's going on over here. Let's go to Porabim. Please and thank you. Bark all. And go to Valonius. Bye bye, Valonius. Maxed out again. Oh my goodness. At this point, like. We. we we're going to win before a late game disaster happens, before the Prothorian Scourge shows up. Or the Unbidden. We're like, we're poised to win before that even happens. That is ridiculous. Holy crap. This is on hard, for Pete's sakes. Well, it's been a, a solid game, I guess. My goodness. But I think with eating these guys, we Hostile will be... Um... A little bit closer, but not all the way. It's, it won't be Situation quite 82. Updated. Because they don't have all this stuff down here colonized. Situation log so if we updated. eat them and then eat the Bothrian Shard, that might actually be enough. And this Ample Deer, we want to name that Amphideer. Amph Amphidis? Amphid? I'm going to name it Amphid. <laughs> Ample Deer. Situation log updated. My goodness. Point two. We're not even going to get to secure. technological enlightenment. Oh, that's kind of sad. All right. The guys in Valonius. Go to Wallius. I'm kind of curious, though. Will we be at war with the Atrax Crusaders upon vassalizing these guys? It's actually something that I'm kind of curious kind of worried about because they have System survey more power than we do. They are more powerful. Without question. Land armies. So I I would rather not be worth an attract crusaders, but all the same Hostile fleet engaged. I want to eat Situation these guys. Log updated. So that's what we're going to do. We'll eat as much as we can. The attract crusaders are kind of eating a lot by themselves though, so we'll see. I think we'll be fine. I think all will be Hostile well. In the world. Engaged. What do you got? What do you, what are you killing? Transport ships? Yeah, that's not gonna matter. Found. Ooh. Research that. Situation found it over here. Updated. Someone upon a faint alien signal during the survey of the moon. A small object in orbit with no message. Cool. Situation log. Yeah, update. tell me all about Income that, please. Trade deal Research offer. Ah, uh, no, don't really care. What's up? Oh, ascension perk available. Oh, because we got. I was like, wait, why? No, we got ascension theory. Yay! Sweet. Wow, there's a lot we can research. Holy crap. Ah, uh, well. I mean, self-aware colony ships would be kind of useful because we have a lot still to colonize. But uh, it's, it's less important. Let's pick up the Tachyon Lance. I believe that's the, the more advanced version. The Tachyon Lance and the Particle Lance. So it's 273 damage. This is 331. Yeah. We want the Tachyon Lance. 
And an Ascension perk is available. So. Engineered Evolution will give us two more trait points. Tech Research Option gain Gene Seed Purification. We got Robot Maintenance Down, Build Speed Up. That actually would give us a huge economic boost. We have a lot of robots. Technology Gain, Atmospheric Manipulation, Terraforming Speed Double, so it only takes 900 days. That's actually pretty good. Naval Capacity plus 200, does not matter. Defender of the Galaxy, the damage to any of, oh my goodness, to any of the late game awful things that happens. We do 50% more damage. I might want to pick that up just to be safe. And everyone likes us more too. That's actually really awesome. Dominion, border range plus 25%. I mean, that that's always good. That's always 100% good. There's no nothing bad that comes from extending your border range. Especially by that much. Damage to fallen empires, to awakened empires, don't care. Clear most tile blockers. Cool. Voidborn. Unlock station habitat. Space, once seen as cold and insurmountable barrier, has become a second home to us. More and more of our young reach adulthood without ever setting foot on a planet. An imperial prerogative. I'm going to pick up Voidborn. What is this? Unlock station habitat. Let me... Let me... Not here. Let me go to Haspalv, our core world. Can I, like, build? What is... What does that even mean? Unlock station habitat. I'm not sure. Enemy planet secure. I'm sure we have a couple more episodes, so I'll, I'll look it up in between episodes. Mummified pilot. <laughs> like, oh, like, that's nothing. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, Pada Beam was the one we just took? Yeah, Pada Beam. And you took that. So there's, like, nothing left? Wait, no, there is. There is. Need to take this. Land armies. Okay, so let's kind of do some checks through the area. Just kind of see what we can find sort of thing. Um, but I'm really curious. I'm going to look it up in between episodes because I know we're going to have time. Unless literally we win through this war. Uh, we'll have time to look through in between episodes. So I'm going to figure out what the heck the habitat is. I'm... I'm curious. Unless that's... Is that in here? No. Not in there. Terraform. Yeah, I'm going to look it up in between episodes. I'm not sure what it is. I'm interested to find out. It's down here. Go down there and then we'll go across... That might be it. How you doing? Are, are we set up properly here? Ah, I mean, you've got to have a bad problem. Why am I not? Okay, I was like, why am I not allowed to retreat? No, no, no. We are allowed to retreat. They have a lot. My goodness. All 23 armies. My goodness. That is a lot they have. Planetary All right, go ahead and fall back. Failed. Fall back for a minute. Regroup. Put yourself back together. How you feeling? By the way, how you feel about a vassalization? You're not there yet. All right, all right. Well, we'll take care of you. We'll worry about you in a minute. There we go. All right. So all y'all are gonna die. All y'all on that planet, you're gonna die unless you surrender. So pick one. You want to die? You want to surrender? I think you want to die. And I, I, Honestly, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's the right choice. I don't think dying is the proper course of action here. Can we pull you guys over here just in case? You know, it might become relevant having our fleets merge into one. 
might become relevant in the future. All right, I think. All right, go to retreat. We'll come back for one more. System survey. Zerkorp, give me more credits. All right, system survey complete. So we should have. Wow. Well, we needed that a long time ago. Holy cow. Take that. Make something out of it. And where I know there's. You know the worst part about not playing a game for a very long time? Because if you guys haven't been aware, I've, I worked 200 hours in the past two weeks, so I haven't played this game at all. Because <laughs> I forget. Where am I spending influence again? I know there was a, a really good influence dump. I don't remember where. We'll just go ahead and do Spirit of Science. That eats up a little bit. Obviously, leaders are always a good influence dump, but not always realistic. Okay, now are we ready? Is everyone good to go? Everyone healed? We're healed, we're bombarding them. They're toast. Research complete. The French toast at toast. Yeah, climate restoration. Tomb world habitability up. Yeah. I'll take that, absolutely. Tomb world adaptation. That'll be done way before any of the terraforming processes of the tomb world happen. So that's absolutely something that we'll need to sit on for a little while. Are we good? Um, yeah. What's up? Yeah. Sounds good. Still your patron. That's good with me. Man, this was not an easy planet to take. Oh, come on. No! Woo! We just about lost this guy. Holy cow. There, were, there was two of them that were really close, but that one had almost no HP left. Wow. That was way too close. All right, attack. We have enough HP, we can finish him off now, but holy crap, that was way too close for comfort. All right, kill off the remaining dangerous guys, and then we have just the basic defense, which is not gonna last. Enemy planet secure. All right, pause, negotiate, really? Really? Are you serious right now? Come on. Uh, System survey complete. They won't vassalize for their own good. That is unfortunate. Can I... Hold up. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. They have one more. We can take it out. And then they will vassalize. Or maybe just blockading it'll be enough. Oh, crap, that attracts Crusaders. Okay, no, we're good. We'll we'll beat them there. Go ahead and speed up time a little bit. So we're at 87. Just blockading it might actually give us enough to take them. So we're going to wait until the blockade occurs and see if we'll be in a good enough place for it. Is there a corp? There you go. I'm sure they're loving that. Oh, it's paused. The game was paused. Freaking A. It's like, why are we not there yet? It shouldn't take that long. The game was freaking paused. Uh... Anomaly found. Yeah, blazing fires. Go check out those blazing fires. Embark. And land. When you have the time, get over there. Take them out. We will then own the Fennel Coalition. And I'm not sure what we'll do about the Federation of Genogian Stars. I kind of want to break the non-aggression pact just because I don't see it working out. Doesn't this... I mean, it builds trust, but... I don't really need it. Sorry. You can have a migration treaty. That's fine. But I don't really need your other nonsense. Abandoning mining facility... Or a thousand. No, I'm going to take the mining facility. Lights out in the mines. Boom. We have a mine of dude. Aurelium ore. Yeah, go grab that. Absolutely. Holy crap. 
Don't we? I think we already have Aurelia Moore. We do. That'd be our third Aurelia Moore. Nice. Incoming transmission. That is something we can sell. Non-aggression pact invitation. No, I I have no desire to be in a non-aggression pact with you, dude. It doesn't do me any good to be in a non-aggression pact with you. And that's it. Okay. We can force demands. We can humiliate them. So they will have very, very little. Uh, and I'm good with that. Actually, no, I'm not. If they're going to be my vassal, I want to be as strong as possible. You're mine. The best possible outcome. And that puts us at 75 out of 82. So how does that play? Oh, and we liberated their worlds. Sweet. All right. Well, on that note, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. The best thing you can do for the channel is share the video on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Thank you, of course, to Anfinite Simon and Premium Patreon supporters. And I'll see you guys all next time as we continue our reign of terror and look towards the Bothrian Shard as our next target. I really want to actually figure out what this Alpine world is. When you're done researching all those projects, go survey this one single world and tell me what it's about. Because that's what I care about. We, like I said, uh, I mean, you know what? They already hate us so much. We could rival them. We'll go and end the episode with a rivalry. All right. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. DFTBA.